to go, I followed these six steps. It took my income from $4,000 a year to $175,000 a year in a year. And then it took it over a million. Now, if it did that for me, no formal education, no business experience, what do you think it can do for you? I want you to imagine that you're flying at about 5,000 feet, and you're looking down, and you see this marvelous big message. Follow these six steps, and you can have anything you want. And then they start to appear one at a time. Now, they come from Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. First, he said, fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. It's not sufficient to say, I want plenty of money. You've got to be definite as to the amount. There's a psychological reason for definiteness, which will be described in subsequent chapters. See, you've got to get the book and read it, too. Now think. You've got to fix in your mind the exact amount of money. It's not good enough to say, I want plenty of money. Now, I did that many years ago. I wrote it on a card, and I carried the card in my pocket. And it was an exact amount. Now, in my case, it was $25,000. I had absolutely no idea where that money was going to come from. In fact, when I wrote it on the card, I didn't even believe it. But I did exactly what he said in these six steps. Now, I want you to spend four or five minutes thinking of exactly how much money do you want to earn. That's all you have to do is just think of how much. It's got to be precise. It's got to be right to the penny. Saying I want more is not enough. I want you to spend four or five minutes doing that. Second, you have to determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. There is no such reality as something for nothing. You've got to determine exactly what you're going to give in return for the money that you desire. It isn't just going to happen. A lot of people sit, they just ask for it. On the movie The Secret, that was one of the criticisms of the movie. You just ask and it appears at your door. Little boy asked for a bicycle and the next thing it was there. Well, that isn't exactly how it happens. You've got to give something if you want to get something. Nature of absolutely abhors a vacuum. You've got to create a space for the good that you desire. But the second step is, you must determine exactly what you intend to give for the good that you desire. Now, you've already decided how much you want. You spend the next four or five minutes thinking, of what are you going to give in return for the amount of money you want? It's a great exercise. Follow it. It's helped me earn millions. It'll do the same. Here we are back now with the third step in attracting the amount of money you want. We decided exactly how much we wanted. We've decided what we're going to give in return for it. Now listen to this. The third step, establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. You know, in Parkinson's Laws, Northcote Parkinson said that work expands to fill the time allotted for it. If you studied the science of getting rich, in the second chapter, we deal with the laws. One of the law is the law of gender. The law of gender decrees all seeds have a gestation or an incubation period. When we set a goal, we've got to put a time limit on when we're going to achieve it. But we also mention that you're guessing at the time. So you've got to go by the feeling inside. I think it'll take me this long. Don't give yourself an enormous amount of time. Work expands to fill the time allotted for it. Give yourself a shorter period of time, you will focus. Focus increases amplitude of vibration. It puts more energy into it. And Emerson said, the only thing that can grow is the thing you give energy to. So we're at the point now, the third step is decide the amount of time it's going to take you to acquire that amount of money. Now that'll take four or five minutes of thought. Decide on a date and write the date down. Now remember, you're guessing at it. So if you don't achieve it on that date, you give yourself an extension. You're going to achieve it. Number four, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once. That's very important. Begin at once, whether you are ready or not, to put the plan into action. You've got to have a plan and move on it right away. You've got to create a definite plan and you've got to get going. You know, the 
Quakers have a good saying, pray and move your feet. A lot of people are always getting ready to get set to get going. They get a book and they're going to read it. They've got something to do and they're going to start. But they never do. You see, the difference between the people that make it or not, they move into action. Now let me share that fourth step again. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you are ready or not to put the plan into action. Now you see, your plan may call for you to have a certain amount of money and you might not have that money. Then that's not what you're going to do, but you're going to do what you can do. You've got to move into action. You've got to put the energy out if you want the universe to give it back. So create your plan and get moving right now. Now ask yourself over the next four or five minutes, what can I do today that's going to carry me in the direction of the good that I desire? You know what you want, you know how you said you're going to get it, what you're going to give, how long it's going to take, get the plan and get going. Get up and get going. Now step number five is sort of regroup, pull them all together. Let me share it with you. Step number five, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire, name the time limit for its acquisition, state what you intend to give in return for the money, describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it. See, the fifth step is the composite of the first four steps. So this is the repetition of these ideas in your mind. And you know, that's what you need. He talks about it in here in, in uh, auto-suggestion. It's the repetition of the information. Step number five is step number four all pulled together. Five is the composite of the first four. I'm going to ask you to take the next four or five minutes. And I don't even care if you don't believe this. Do it anyway. Do exactly what I'm suggesting. And you're going to get it. Believe me, it'll happen. Number six, read your written statement aloud twice daily, once just before retiring at night and once just after getting up in the morning. Now as you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in possession of the money. Now, when I first did this, I, I thought this, this is a crock. I mean, this just isn't going to work. But the guy that gave it to me said, your way's not working, Bob. Why don't you follow his? So I did. I'd take my goal card out, and I would read, I would seal, and see, and I'd feel myself already in possession of this $25,000. Well, do you know it happened so fast? Let me tell you, I was on the fire department in a suburb of Toronto. I was only earning $4,000 a year. The chief only earned 11500 and there was only one chief. And I wasn't a particularly good fireman, so I knew I was never going to be the chief. Do you know it wasn't long until I was earning $11,500 a month, and I was still working on the fire department. Now, I wasn't earning the money there, I was earning on the side. Why? I'll tell you why. I kept reading and seeing and feeling myself and believing myself in the possession of it. See, the belief came through the repetition of reading and seeing and feeling it. Whatever you impress upon your mind over and over and over again, you're going to start to believe it. And William James says, believe and your belief will actually create the fact. Now remember, what Lanny Morton said is right. You should come back to this over and over again. I've been doing that probably longer than you've been living. And I'm still doing it. Now, I know I may be a little slow, but it works. And I do exactly what the book tells me. You do exactly what the six minutes is telling you. And share it with a number of people. That'll help you earn the money. Remember, every time you share it with someone, you get $10 a month. 100 people, 1,000 a month. 1,000 people, 10,000 a month. And that's passive income. I'm giving you the suggestion. It must be for a reason. Spend four or five minutes working on that right now.